The big benefit of VR is, is the speed that we can get to the problem. Within a day of getting some CAD files, we can be looking at a design, we can be looking at a maintenance problem, we can be looking at a layout. Right, it's, it's very quick, it doesn't cost a lot of money, and it's a very good tool. Virtual reality is one of the few tools that everyone can use throughout the product lifecycle. Whether it's in concept design, or design, or design for manufacture, or design for assembly, or design for repair and maintenance, or design for operations, it's got a place throughout the whole product lifecycle, which means everyone can engage with it. Some of the key advantages of um, a combination of both visualisation and the immersive capabilities are uh, they're a fantastic communication tool um, and there's that, that collaboration aspect that we, uh, that we identified in terms of both internal business and business to business connection. That collaboration and communication should get stronger in the future. Vision Render allows our clients to import their own data, no matter how large, into a virtual environment to create scenes like training scenarios, like maintenance run-throughs or design reviews. I think one of the first things that engineering users will notice about Vision Render is it talks their engineering language. But it enables them to use all the new graphics features, the latest things that graphics hardware is allowing people to do in the movie industry and video games, but they can do that for themselves in an engineering environment, returning engineering data, engineering metadata and attributes, and keeping the structure of their product intact. So it's great. They can keep their data integrity, but use the latest features. When organisations invest in virtual reality and visionary render, they will enhance their working practices. They'll get the best out of their digital design assets and their people. That'll reduce payback time and enhance their return on investment.